Hello VFX people, I'm AK and this is Fluid Ninja and an extension to the Preset Scope chapter. In that chapter we have mentioned that uh, the cascade particle systems that we are referencing with our presets should be in the same directory in the same folder where the preset file is. Uh, so um, first let me load the Ninja Tools level and secondary in the input folder in the fluid presets subfolder I pick this subfolder plasma. As you can see we have uh, three uh, data table files here. Let me uh, switch to list view. Okay, uh, This is uh, plasma 1, 2, 3. If I start Ninja, uh, go to the fluid Ninja module, you could see the, the three um, presets. This is plasma 1, and two and three. Uh, they are uh, all three are referencing uh, different uh, cascade particles. We roll down in the side menu, we check the input sidebar and you see density from particles and this one plasma 3 present is referencing the plasma 3 cascade particle. And what if I would like to use another cascade file which is not located in the directory. If I click on this roll down menu you see it's only plasma 1, 2 and 3. Uh, these are the files visible for these presets because, and I quit Ninja and I go back to the content browser, because these preset files are located in the same folder as the cascade particle systems. So what if I would like to reference a, let's say, a flower and this flower color particle system. Uh, here, uh, here's Cascade and here's this flower color particle system. One way to do that, and that what I have <laughs> advised in the last chapter, is to copy the flower color uh, cascade particle, uh, this one, yep, copy it uh, to the plasma folder. And remember, uh, I would like to somehow, well, let's say, force you to keep uh, the belonging assets together. That's the reason for that. Well, mm, okay, what if I would say that there is a trick to avoid this? And the trick is the following. I go to the flower, I pick uh, this particle system I'm looking for, PS flower color. I right click on it and I say uh, reference viewer. You see? And in the reference viewer I have uh, a path for this particle system, uh, which is an absolute path. And I copy this absolute path, I close the reference viewer, I could close the cascade particle as well. And so with the absolute path on the clipboard, I go back to the plasma folder and I'm going to edit this data table, data table file manually. First, I make a copy of it. Right click on it, I say duplicate and let's call it plasma 4. Right, the data table is here, plasma 4. I double click on it and the plasma 4 file looks like this. It's basically uh, uh, two columns and lots of rows. Well, you see this row here, particle template. I just click on it and I change the entry. Right now it is PS plasma 3 and I just, <laughs> that's my daughter and it's in the evening. She's a bit tired now. Whatever. Uh, I just paste the absolute path into this input field, press enter and that's it. I say save, I close the data table and I go back to Ninja and see what happened. First I expect that the, in the preset list of Ninja a Plasma 4 preset will appear, hopefully. Well, aha, here it is, Plasma 4. And guess what? We have the flower color particle system here. Um, if I go to the input field, you might notice there's this yellow triangle with an attention mark. Uh, well, I switch on the tooltips and let's say what, is, what this warning says to us. Well, the warning says 
This preset file and the reference template are not in the same folder. So basically, we have been applying this trick by manually editing the preset file and manually copy-pasting an absolute path to the particle input field. And Ninja is accepting this, but it gives you a warning that this is not the advised way, you, you're a bad boy and you should not do this, but anyway, uh, here we go. So shortly this is the way how we could uh, uh, reference particle systems, which are not in the folder where the preset file is. Mm, shortly this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, might be, <laughs> sounds a bit complicated, but it's, it's really not that complicated. It's really about uh, copy-pasting the, the preset file, uh, the, the cascade particle file's absolute path to the, to the preset file, as you could see here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it, and thank you for your attention.